Hello, YouTube. I'm Dr. Fox. Today, I'm talking about epigenetics. Epigenetics means studying the effect of our environment on gene expression, and it's a new and exciting area of science. Gene expression just means how our genes determine what our bodies are like. For example, whether we have red hair or blue eyes, are good at running or bad at drawing, or even like spicy food or prefer chocolate and candies. Gene expression can be influenced by many things, including our diet, how much we sleep, whether we are breathing in harmful chemicals from the air around us, and what sort of place we live in. Those are all parts of our environment. These things cannot actually change your genetic code, but you can imagine them as pressing switches to turn our genes on and off and up and down. Sometimes these environmental factors can cause permanent changes and even changes which you can pass on to your children and grandchildren. So, what does epigenetics have to do with pregnancy? A pregnant woman creates the environment in which her baby develops, and that environment will cause changes to the body's genetic code, as we've just discussed. Those changes can help the baby or they can be bad for her. Getting the environment inside you right for your baby is called fatal programming. For example, you have to make sure that you are not too fat or not too thin when you are pregnant as your weight has an impact on the baby's environment and can help make her healthy or unhealthy later in life. If you are overweight, your baby might have been programmed to be overweight as well when she is growing up. Mental health is important here as well as babies can pick up on that part of the environment you create for them too, although scientists don't know how much about that yet. In fact, this whole area of epigenetics is so new that they are discovering more and more all the time. Okay, will someone carry out genetic tests on you? As we said, human genetics it's still a really recent area of research, but as scientists and doctors learn more, they are trying to use their knowledge to care for expectant moms and their babies. That can mean genetic testing during pregnancy. Where genetic testing is particularly useful is to find out whether the fetus inside you have certain illnesses that there's no treatment for at the moment or which are particularly painful. Very often, we don't know that we can pass on a certain disease to our children because we never ever knew we had the genes for that disease in our body. So the doctors looking after you might suggest you have a DNA-based test to find out. If it happens, the professional who takes care of you normally will refer you to a specialist will be able to give you very detailed answers to your questions and advise you about what to do. A genetic specialist is necessary because the work they do is extremely complicated, and you have to be absolutely sure that they can interpret the results of tests correctly and have all the necessary information which non-specialist doctors have not been trained for. Okay, thank you for watching. See you soon.